you retrieved it. Uh, going in, moving on, the next instrument is a, a, a caucus um, forceps, which uh, is very similar to a Spencer Wells, except that it's got a, a, a tooth, a very traumatic one um, at the end. Uh, quite useful for um, holding tissue, which you want it held securely. Um, without slippage, for example, the edges of a vaginal skin, as you do uh, a repair, uh, and an anterior posterior repair, for example. So it's very commonly used for that. And it's coppers with a K, isn't it? Coppers with a K, yeah. Um, and also very often used to hold uh, skin and chest, or when you do a, a laparoscopy, if you want to elevate the umbilicus, that's quite useful. Um, coming, going on to scissors, this is a very slender uh, and very fine scissors named after uh, Mekindo, a plastic surgeon. He was a plastic surgeon in the Second World War yeah. and his forte was Burns repair because you had a lot of pilots in yeah. the Second World War who you know, got out of their damaged planes but then the plane was on fire and they were on fire and they came in with horrible burns yes, yeah. and he did a huge amount of reconstructive surgery. And my understanding is he pioneered a lot of those techniques where, you know, you walk a bit of tissue yeah, across the body yeah, using yeah, flaps, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, so he apparently was a really brilliant surgeon and yes, yeah. pioneered a lot of these techniques with these horribly mutilated young men. Yeah. Um, very fine scissors uh, used to, to do fine dissection, for example, uh, if your bowel um, stuck to... to the pelvic organs. Uh, I use this particularly to mobilize the um, sigmoid from the left pelvic side wall to, to dissect the infundibular pelvic ligament, um, to open the lateral pelvic side walls. I uh, often use it uh, for lymph node uh, dissections when you're doing um, pelvic side wall dissection to retrieve lymph nodes. A very beautiful, delicate instrument. Uh, this is um, the workhorse of gynecological surgery, as far as cutting goes. This is uh, the Mayo scissors, um, which comes in uh, uh, different sizes. This is a, a common size used uh, as cesarean sections and, and um, hysterectomies. Um, as the pelvis gets deeper, obviously you need um, longer Mayo scissors. It's got a curve to it very robust um, scissors uh, which can tackle uh, particularly tough connective tissue like um, uterosacral ligaments, neck and rods and uh, your major pedicles while doing a hysterectomy. Um, needle holders, are they named after anybody? Yeah, Mayo. Mayo needle holders, yeah. Or Hagar. Hagar, yeah. Right. yeah. So, yeah. The, the principle is the same. Um, they have a, a much smaller um, area of grip uh, compared to uh, a forceps. Uh, they are designed to hold uh, the, the needles securely. Um, they have a, a crisscrossing of their um, holding surfaces, which holds the needles securely. Some of them, particularly the Mayos, I think, have a, a little concavity at the centre which helps uh, in holding the needle securely. Um, uh, and also if you, if you look at it, the, the way it is designed is that the, the, the needle is held at its very end of the instrument and you put your index finger on it and, and you uh, you are able to rotate it um, quite efficiently the way it is designed. With the, the fulcrum quite low in the instrument. The other, uh, the other thing is, that with all of these instruments, is the handles are longer than yes. the jaws, so That's that right. you're getting a leverage principle. Yes. So, in, so if the handle's five times the length of the jaw, then whatever force you're applying yes. is magnified five times yes. within the jaws of the clamp. Uh, the next instrument is uh, little woods uh, forceps, um, tissue forceps, uh, with um, quite secure uh, teeth at the end, particularly useful for holding tissues which you uh, do not mind uh, damaging a little bit. So for example you wouldn't want to use it on bowel, 
uh, what is particularly useful at holding uh, edges of the vaginal vault or vaginal skin uh, to vaginal hysterectomy, but very commonly used to, to hold uh, the vaginal vault after you have extracted or um, disconnected the uterus from the top of the vagina. You can also use it uh, at, a hysterect at a cesarean section to hold the um, peritoneum, for example, uh, if you want to see into, uh, into the pelvis. This is a, an atraumatic forceps, very different to the little roots. Um, they are quite traumatic, this with teeth. These are quite atraumatic. It's got uh, very shallow uh, transverse ridges, um, very commonly used to uh, hold structures like